Good morning and welcome to Thursday Morning's Thought for Today. And this morning we're walking along the side of the Sea of Galilee as we read Mark's Gospel chapter 1. And we're also going to be dipping into Luke's Gospel chapter 5 as well. Both Mark and Matthew tell us this very straightforward story. Jesus was walking along the side of the Sea of Galilee. There were fishermen in their boats. We know that they were Peter and Andrew initially, then James and John further on down the beach. So Andrew and Peter were there working away. And we read really in verses, uh, verse 17 of Mark chapter 1. Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you to become fishers of men. Matthew tells us the same sort of thing. So it's almost as if Jesus just walks up to them, tells them to follow him, and then says, if you follow me, I will teach you how to become uh, fishers of a different sort. Fishers not of the, the fish that swim in the ocean, but actually fishers of men. In other words, we're going to be catching a very different sort of thing. And I'm going to teach you how to become. In other words, is a process. The, this idea of fishing wasn't just going to be easily translatable across to evangelizing, because that's what Jesus was talking about. And as we read it, we understand that a fisher of men is somebody who goes out to, to catch men. In other words, to allow the, the, the people around them to see the bait. And the bait is obviously the life we live in Jesus Christ and to be attracted to that and then to be one for the kingdom. But this is a strange phrase that Jesus uses. In English, it just simply translates, follow me. In actual fact, the, the Greek that's used is more a case of, right, in behind me. Get in behind me. In other words, we're going to go places. Jesus was taking on almost the role of a prophet here. This is the way a prophet would gather people around him. He would tell people, come and follow me. Rabbis would have allowed people to come to him and ask if they could become one of his students. Jesus was both rabbi and prophet here. <clears throat> but he was, he was allowing the disciples to realize that there was something bigger going on. This, this phrase, fishers of men, this idea, follow me, it just seems almost very blunt that Jesus would suddenly walk up to somebody and say this. And I think Luke actually captures the bigger picture. Mark and Matthew have maybe given us an abridged version of what we, we, we read of what actually happened. Luke's gospel tells us something different. Luke talks about Jesus walking down the beach, teaching the people, stopping at the water's edge, the people coming close to him and almost pushing him into the water. The boat behind him just happens to be the boat of, of Simon Peter's. And he climbs in the boat and he asks Simon Peter to push out a little bit from the, the edge of the shore so that he can talk to people from a distance. So he's got a, a floating pulpit with people in front of him. And as he does this, people listen. Simon's maybe been working at his nets and listening as well. And when it's all over, Jesus asks Simon to push out into the water again. Simon says, look, I've been working all night. I haven't caught anything. It's not a good time. Just things aren't great. Maybe it's not a good idea. And Jesus says, push out into deep water eventually because of what Simon Peter has heard he says okay Lord because you said I'll do it they push out Jesus tells them what to do they catch fish and all of a sudden Peter realizes he's in the presence of something great and he falls to his knees and we get this wonderful confession from him uh, in verse 8 of chapter 5 and Luke where he said uh, but when Simon Peter saw it he fell at Jesus feet saying depart from me for I am a sinful man O Lord and everyone we read on the boat was astonished. And then Jesus says to them, uh, and now he said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. So all of a sudden, God through Christ has revealed his power to Simon Peter. Simon Peter has realized that this person is somebody special come from God. And he's been given this offer. If you come after me, you can do better than fish. I'll show you how to catch men. There's this idea of, as I said earlier about becoming a catcher, a catcher of men, a fisher of men, that it, it wasn't something that he could just translate across. He had those skills, but Jesus was going to turn him into something more. And surely, even though he didn't give the same promise to all the disciples, it seems this was the only person, Andrew and, and Simon Peter, who, who heard this promise. There was a sense that when we all come to Christ, Christ then allows us to become fishers of men, where we have to take on that. So when we become Christians, we're not told we can sit back and enjoy the view. We can twiddle our thumbs and wait for glory, but that we're actually called to action, called to win people for Christ. But I love the story of, of Peter's life because at the end of Peter's life with, with Christ, this, 
appear at the end of John's gospel before Christ leaves, after Peter has made a mess of this confession just before Christ's crucifixion. Christ comes to Peter after the breakfast on the beach and he talks to him and he, he says to him, if you love me, feed feed my lambs. And then he says again the second time, take care of my sheep. And then a third time he says, feed my sheep. So all of a sudden, this fisherman who became a fisher of men has now been given a pastoral role, a shepherd's role, looking after Jesus, his flock. So he's gone from fisherman to pastor. The people who are one for the kingdom then are pastored as well. So Peter's life from being a, a humble fisherman suddenly becomes an evangelist and then becomes a pastor on top of that, taking care of Christ's flock. What an incredible life. But that's just the point, isn't it? The moment we step out, the moment we take that step to follow Jesus Christ, the moment we fall in behind him, our lives take on a completely new perspective. We become active in the kingdom. We become, we become people who want to serve the Lord. We want to share the good news. We become fishers of men. And then we become people who shepherd and pastor the people who want for the kingdom of God. It's an incredible thought. And it all starts with that one step where we step out and follow our Lord. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say this morning. And I hope you have a good Thursday. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.